Today we will be talking about multi how to do multivariate analysis using JUMP. The first topic we want to cover today, uh, to give you a general information on what we will be covering today is we will be covering multivariate analysis, we will cover clustering, then we'll jump into principal components analysis, then we will do an example of factor analysis and we'll finish up with discriminant analysis. So the, just to get started with the multivariate analysis, let's open up a data set the multivariate analysis might be useful. The data set I have is a body measurements data set where we have information about different body measurements which has a person's weight, the length of forearm, biceps, chest, neck, shoulder, waist, height, calf, thigh, and head. So these are kind of like body measurements they collected and trying to identify if there's any way to classify these elements. If I were doing multivariate analysis, the way I would approach this, first I would look at the distribution of data, like what's on my data set. Let's just look at distribution first. And then I can see how the mass is distributed, what my average average weight is about 73 kilograms, and my average forearm, average biceps. And I can look at these individually and then try to see if I can if I can conclude anything. I mean, even though I can use the dynamic functionality of jump and I can highlight, well, what does it look like for the heavy set individuals? I can select multiple options on the heavy end of the people's weight and I can see it's related to the forearms, biceps, and chest. But if I scroll over, I don't really understand about, there doesn't look like a correlation with the, he with the height and I can scroll over more thigh or head sizes, there is not really a relationship. So distribution doesn't really help me much in this case. But if I'm, what other options I, I will have then I will look into trying to build graphs to see if there's any kind of correlation that I can spot and I can divide our weight versus forearm or neck or chest or biceps or anything else. But the problem with this is in this case I have 11 columns and it, combination of these 11 columns, then I will have to be looking at at least 120 different combinations. So if there's any kind of correlation between the two. To eliminate, to make that process easier for us, we have the multivariate platform built in. So if I run the multivariate platform, and I can see what it looks like, and I can see all those all those variables that I, I selected, and I can look at their correlation, they're color coded, you can see the negative elements are red and the positive elements are on the blue side. So you can visually identify what the differences are. And you can also see a scatter plot of if there is any kind of relationship between each of these body measurements that we collected. And what we're looking for here is that we're looking for a narrow ellipse leaning toward any direction. And that would give me information about if there is a direct positive correlation or negative correlation between each of those variables. And I can identify this. I also wanted to show you is that you can build a filter so you can see if this correlation changes for people with different weight, weight groups. And I, if, I, if I extend this to whole weight groups and you see there is a positive correlation between weight and the forearm and biceps. But if I go on to heavier set individuals like we were looking at before, the cor those correlation not necessarily, they don't necessarily hold and they change. It's, I mean, if you notice it as I move these along, this correlation changes for different weight groups. So there's something here that I want to explore and that will be, that will be your job while you're doing your analysis. But let me show you how I got to this report that I'm presenting right now. Under Analyze, I can select Multivariate Methods and my first option is Multivariate. Once I select that, it will give me a dialog box that I can select which variables I want to look at. In this case, I want to put everything in and I can either drag it into this box for the Y columns or once I have selected, I can click on Y columns and it will populate it for me. And next thing I will do is OK. What will happen is it will go through all the data set and create this multivariate analysis results for me. And the difference between what I looked at earlier and what I'm looking at right now is that filter that I created. And it's easy if you click on the red triangle, you can go under Script, Local Data Filter, 
and you can select what you want to filter this by. I selected people's weight, but you can select it. Maybe you want to do it by pe people's height. See if there's any kind of relationship. And I can say height and I can slide this to give me the region that I'm interested or I can add, for example, I want to do height and I also want to do a person's weight. Now I can do multiple comparisons. So I can select and filter through my data as I'm looking at the multivariate results. And once I'm happy with this, I can come to this my red triangle, script, save script to my data table. And then if I close this and go back to my data table, and I see that I have a new script created, I can come to this red triangle, say run script. It, will, it remembers what I did, what I saved as a script, and it will create the same thing for me. Now I can scroll and see if there is any relationship in the groups that I'm interested in. Maybe this is the particular part of the popula population you're interested in and you want to look at. So this will be useful in that case.